day everyone. I am Brother Irwin here at the Brother's Kitchen for another episode of Cooking with Bro. With me are our students from De La Salle Sobel Senior High School. Hi, I'm David Garcia from the Humanities and Social Sciences Strand. Hi, I'm Aldo Mercado from Accounting and Business Ma Management Strand. So, nowadays people tend to make themselves healthier. Let me ask you guys, do you play any sport? Uh, I play uh, basketball and frisbee. Right, that's nice. How about you, Arno? Oh, I play frisbee too. I'm from the Ultimate Animo team here in Zabel. I learned to play frisbee with Brother Dennis. Oh, really? Yes. He used to be the coach here in Zabel. Yes, he's very good. Yes, he is. <laughs> and now, we would try to learn something special for me, something that I learned during my high school days because I studied high school in Kuwait, in the Middle East. And we would now try to learn yogurt chicken kebab. And here are the ingredients. So first, we have the yogurt. Next would be the lemon juice. Here. Next would be the garlic. It's here also. The coriander. Over here. Of course, the chicken. And salt and pepper to taste. Here. <laughs> Alright, for the yogurt dip, of course we would need yogurt and garlic. And some would prefer to add more pepper with the dip. Also, we are going to need some vegetables for our as we continue the process of making the kebab. Would that would be the bell pepper, the cherry tomatoes. And the onions. And of course, we would not forget our healthy oil, the olive oil, for us to be able to make a special dish. Now we will start preparing our dish. But first we need first we need the skewers. The skewers must be prepared, must be soaked for at least 30 minutes under water. This is for the meat not to stick in to the skewers. For now, let us get the chicken. And we will put in the yogurt. Let's put it in and let's try to mix it all together. Next would be the garlic. How much will uh, Half of that would be enough. Okay. Alright, that's enough. Next would be the coriander. Half. Uh, uh, all, all but it. Really put it on. And the lemon juice. Everything? Yes. Okay, now we will mix them all together. So David, do you cook at your house? Uh, actually, I do sometimes, but uh, over the summer, I didn't really go out, so I wanted to do something. What do you usually cook? Uh, my parents aren't really allowed to eat meat, so more on fish. Very healthy. Yeah. How about you, Aldo? Oh, yes. Uh, I cook a lot. I'm an aspiring chef. So, like, when I grow up, I wanna cook. What do you usually cook? Um, I usually cook pasta, ribs, you know, like, nice. experiment. And this is already mixed. Before we go to the next step, we add some salt and some pepper. Just a pinch of it. Okay. All right. Continue mixing it. So, brother, um, you told us your story about in Kuwait. So, what made you decide to join the Brotherhood when you were there? Actually, uh, by that time, I had no idea that I would become a brother. I never thought of that. Uh, it was just when I entered college, 
that I got to know more about the brothers. But back then, I think what motivated me to become a brother, looking back, was because it's a Muslim country, so I was not really able to deepen my faith and my religion. So that, uh, when I came back to the Philippines, in a way, I was craving for that experience. Maybe that's one way that led me to the brothers. So for now, we will need to put this in a Ziploc bag for it to be sealed and we would marinate this for at least two hours or better yet, for overnight. Uh, speaking of which, brother, uh, when did you have that moment that uh, you said to yourself, yes, uh, I'm ready, uh, I have all the flavors that I need to come back? Actually, as of the moment, I am not that sealed yet in terms of that because I believe that I continue to I need to be uh, continuously open to what, wherever the spirit would guide me, and I could not say that all the flavors are with me already because every day I'm filled with something new. I'm filled with some learnings that would make me grow as a brother and as a person. And by the time that I reach my older years, maybe I would say that. All the flavors are with me and I'm ready and sealed in to be a brother. But for now, let's enjoy the process. Let's take one step at a time. All right. There she goes. <laughs> Thank you. For now, we will seal it in and leave it in the refrigerator for at least, again, two hours or better overnight. So now we are going to make the garlic yogurt dip. We need, we would need the garlic here and of course the yogurt. So we will just mix them both together. And how much garlic, brother? You may put it on. Oh, okay. So, brother, is there anything you miss from Quake? Oh, actually, first, I miss my parents. Next would be, because our house is just near the beach, so I would love to wake up in the morning seeing the sunrise from the beach, having some exercise. <laughs> so, while Aldo is mixing the, our garlic uh, yogurt sauce, maybe we could get the pre-marinated uh, chicken so that we can start our next step. Here. Thank you. So now we will put the chicken on the sticks. And again, as so what I have said earlier, the sticks were pre-soaked in water so that the chicken won't stick into right. the steak. Okay. All right. You may be as creative as possible, but I suggest you make it uh, alternately, the veggies, the chicken, the veggies, and the chicken. So what we will do is we need the bell pepper, the onions and the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Over here. We now get our sticks. Maybe we will do one, one first. One first, okay. One for you. Oh, thank you. And everyone, guys, make sure to wash your hands first before doing this step so that uh, we won't avoid other uh, sicknesses. Yes. Okay. Now we try to get. Our bell pepper, and then you can get all right. Next, could be tomatoes. Oh, okay. Chicken. 
and the process goes on until we have enough for everyone. So bro, um, have you cooked this dish for any other brothers that we have? Yes, before, two years back when I was in the novitiate, every weekend the brothers will cook. So since it's an international community, there are foreign brothers with us in the novitiate. We tend to explore and experience the tastes of different countries while we stay together as brothers. So every weekend we have the opportunity to opportunity to share what is our culture in terms of food. Okay, cool. This one's for me, this one's done for me. And we should make more later before we start the grilling. Alright. Now our, your our yogurt chicken kebab is ready for grilling. Oh, okay. David, think fast. <laughs> Ooh, nice one. Let's go to the grill. Let's go. <laughs> finished product, a yogurt chicken kebab by yours truly, Brother Irwin. And now, for the favorite part of everyone, it's... Time to eat! Uh, eating time! Let's go, let's try it. But now we need to know how this is usually eaten. This is usually eaten like a barbecue for the kebab. But for uh, our pita bread, uh, if some would like to prefer to eat it with the rice, they may do so. But uh, since we are in the Middle Eastern, culture they usually eat pita bread so they would uh, take a piece of it dip it in the garlic uh, yogurt sauce and eat it then follow eating the grilled chicken and veggies How do you like it? Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> One may add more sauce for it to taste better. Right? Oh, brother, are you the, are you the youngest brother? Yes, I currently am the youngest Filipino brother really? at the age of 24. Maybe that's because after I graduated college and I took yeah. the board exams, I entered right away the wow. brothers. Yeah, you're gonna be the youngest brother for. I think next year someone will dethrone me from oh, the younger yeah. ones. So it would be my last year as the youngest brother in the Philippines. Um, so, brother, what do you do during your free time? Uh, I usually take pictures. You can check the Instagram for that. <laughs> I also usually sing. I record some songs on SoundCloud. Ooh, so I'll always, follow you. Uh, just uh, a stress reliever or just to make use of my time creatively. Yeah, that's good. That's good. How about you? Um, I usually cook or like search recipes or maybe training or study. Yeah. And you, David? Ah, I watch TV, I watch movies. Video games. Oh, one so thing more that I would like to do on my free time is to sleep and have rest. Ah, yes. <laughs> we all need that for us to be healthy. Yeah. And Correct. let's continue eating. It's so nice. So 
So for the process of grilling the yogurt chicken kebab, first we need to heat the grill to our desired temperature. Next, we should brush a little bit of olive oil so that the chicken won't stick on the grill. Next would be we put the uh, kebab and we try to turn it around from time to time so that it won't burn too much. And we grill it for around 10 to 12 minutes until it's ready and until it's cooked. So, how was it? It was really good. I'm not yet done and you're both. Finished, huh? <laughs> really yeah. like it. Uh, so, this dish is practically healthy for the ones who wanted to have a healthy dish because this uh, dish involves uh, yogurt, which is good for digestion, and garlic, which is good for blood circulation. Also, we use chicken and a lot of veggies that uh, is appropriate for being healthy and being fit. Uh, anything else that you would like to um, ask? Hmm, actually, um, can I ask, uh, may I ask, um, what social media accounts do you have? Oh, I'm everywhere. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Uh, for the first three, it's mearwinfsc and for the snapchat, mearwin.fsc Alright, thank okay. you. And any other? Uh, is there any advice you have for uh, any message you have for, for us? Uh, okay, uh, you know what, you're on your senior high school, you're about to face the college world. They would say it's a more different world, it's a more a demanding world but uh, I just want to give an advice in relation to our kebab life <laughs> is full of different ingredients like when we see there's the onion there's the tomato there's the chicken but we should always be grounded on our faith we should always be grounded on God which makes us all together like the stick that I'm holding now different aspects of our lives should be connected with God to God with God's love for us and by that by that we can be able we are able to uh, face the challenges ahead of us we are able to uh, move on through life with the strength that God gives us so important is we should stick together with God and <laughs> don't let other things go in that okay rest assured that we'll keep that advice in our hearts for Thank you also, brother, for showing us this recipe. It was really, really good. Thank You're you. welcome. If you want to know more about fresh recipes from the Brothers Kitchen, you may check our YouTube page and our Facebook page at DLSZ. For now, I'm Brother Irwin, signing off for another episode of Cooking with Bro. See you guys. Bye! Bye. Bye.